The journey has been tough, uh, enriching. It's been enlightening. It's brought me closer to God. It's brought me closer to my family and more understanding of people in general. So I'm assuming that everything that happens to us in life, if you don't see the good that comes out of it, then you've missed that experience completely. My name is Carol Thompson. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a businesswoman, and now a retiree. And I'd like to tell you my story about overcoming Hodgkin's lymphoma. When I was first um, diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, I started with a, a cough and I was really kind of concerned, thought it was bronchitis, wasn't quite sure. I uh, decided to um, go have it looked at. You know, I thought, sure, another case of bronchitis had come along. But Dr. Lake did an x-ray and was more concerned than he should have been. And I'm glad for that because he sent me for, uh, for a uh, biopsy of uh, the lymph nodes in my chest. And it turned out that I did have, indeed, Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 2. There's no way to get around the, the fear, the sadness, the upset, the anger, the, all of those things. But once you have gone through those and you center yourself, you can begin to charge forward and say, I'm going to do this thing. I'm getting through this. I have my family. I have my grandchildren. And I'm going to be here. And so you just need to be um, certain in your mind that you're going to charge through and make it to the end and, and come out with a, a good result. And when I would go for treatments, it was like I was recognized. I was, um, I was truly important to the nursing staff, the doctors, and um, I always told the nurses that they must check their uh, wings at the door because they they were little angels to me. Um, they they really were supportive and understanding of how I felt and you know even down to the you know the la loss of hair. Um, everyone understood. You know you were in a in camaraderie with people who see it or lived it, and they all understood exactly where you were coming from. And it it was uh, it was an unreal time for me. I just sort of took a time off from work and decided that this was six months dedicated totally to myself. I napped <laughs> when I needed to and didn't care if dinner was late. I just did what I had to do. And um, fortunately, after about, I think it was about six uh, rounds of chemo, I uh, had a PET scan and it was uh, already looking like it was in remission. Of course, they still finished the, the 12 rounds, but um, then in 2014, I had a, uh, another biopsy uh, and yes, indeed, it was in remission. I guess you can't say it's gone yet for five years, but I'm three years and I'm happy with that. So, you know, going through it and coming out on the other side with good news is a, um, I'm a very blessed woman.